Hi. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into control points. We're probably going to do two or three very short little lessons on control point curves and how they work. All right. Now, a couple things I want you to know are these two hotkeys right here. F10 to turn your control points on and F11 to turn your control points off. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my standard menu and draw a control point curve. And you'll notice that everywhere I click, it shows me where the curve is going to start. But as I move away from that, you'll notice that the, the curve behaves a little bit differently. All right, so this is a control point curve. Now, when I select it, the actual control points are going to turn on. So I select the curve. And you can actually see these control points turn on. This is something new in Rhino 6. All right, as I begin to drag these points away, you'll notice that they begin to exert some influence on that curve. All right. Now, you'll also notice that if I click on the curve, the control points come on. If I click off the curve, the control points disappear. All right. Now, if I were to click F10, it would turn the control points on. And if I were to click F11, it would turn the control points off. My other option is to go right down here where it says so show object control points. I can select that. I can read my display line up top here. Select object for control point display. I can click on it and I can hit enter. And there we go. Right now, you'll notice now I'm not selecting. Uh, this curve is not selected and the control points are on. I can move a point. I can drag a point and it will stay on. To turn them off, I can either hit F11 or I can hover over this and you'll notice if I left click I can turn on the control points and if I right click the control points go off okay I'm gonna go ahead and stop the lesson right here and I will see you in the next one and we're gonna continue talking about control points